Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure when that one good singer is again in niggas content today. Hey, pay a man. welcome 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 back to my channel welcome back to vlogtober i'm back and i'm here to give you guys a little bit of a story time i just wanted to switch it up i know that you guys want to see the vlogs and whatnot but i know that there are some people who enjoy the story times guys i'm going to try to look down né, most of the time because i just don't like the reflection of the ring light so i want to try and keep it at here yeah well yeah, so yeah, I'm back with the story time. It's going to be a little bit short, but it's going to be, I think, good enough for you guys to still enjoy. Ne? Anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Okay, so today's story is not going to be long. Shame, like, it's not going to be long. And actually, it's not going to be, like, um, really a funny story. I don't know if you guys think my stories are funny. Because always, like first date and go or, or weird situations on dates or, or stuff like that but this is sort of like a different story time but also it's kind of like awareness like you know just for you guys to be vigilant or something okay so as you can see from the title of the video i'm gonna talk i'm gonna talk about the time i almost got kidnapped now i'm saying this because in hindsight that was the situation and i'm saying in hindsight on purpose because around that time like in that particular situation or in that moment it didn't really register to me what was going on so i came to realize after okay so this story time is obviously from a, a couple of years ago like i think i was still in varsity even and what what the situation was <clears throat> what the situation was was that my mom I was in PE more so half of the time, you know, I would be in PE, but there would be time like recess where we all go home. And at this point, um, excuse me, at this point, my mom was working at Coxstad in Coxstad. That's like quite further away from Mtata. I think there are two cities after Mtata. If you know Mtata, the Eastern Cape, Nalamakala, you might, you know, recognize um, the, the places that I'm mentioning. But the Coxstad is a little bit far, kind of towards... KZN. Well, it is. I think Goxa is in KZN, right? So towards about Debe and Niganje. So yeah, uh, my mom was working that side. So she was, so to say, based that side. So when time came where I would go home, I would go home to Gokstad for quite some time, but not for too long. But around that period, she was in Gokstad. So recess came and obviously... Um, I took my bus and I traveled to a Cox study to be with my mom. My dad was always working in PE. So sometimes it wouldn't really be like a whole family thing. My brother was also in PE. So my brother wasn't there. My brother hadn't gone home, decided not to go home for recess. And my dad was still in PE, working in PE and, and that stuff. So basically there was no one in Tata around the time. It made obvious sense that if I'm going home, I would go straight to a Cox study because that's where my mom is. Okay. So finally, yeah, um, I get my bus, I, I decide to go home, go to Coxstad and be with my mom. So obviously, okay, um, it is recess time, I'm chilling at home and everything like that. And then some of my high school friends, obviously, were Nabas and Tata, because that's where we're all from. And we knew we know each other from high school and Tata High. So we would always try to make these attempts to like link up whenever it's recess, you know, just to hang out and like catch up on each other's lives since we've been apart, you know, because of varsity and stuff like that because none of us went to the same bus no actually one of my other friends did go to nmu but she was in another campus like the business campus so we never really saw each other anyway i guess up we all communicate in the friendship whatsapp group because we still we still have that whatsapp group till this day what i like about my high school friendship like we have known each other for so many years we've We've like experienced each other's changes and additions, like kids and stuff like that. And it's such a, um, I could say low maintenance friendship in the sense that we link up when we can, we check up on each other, you know, from time to time, but there isn't that thing where we see every day, like we're always talking, hey guys, even <laughs> you know, it's that type of thing. We meet each other when we can, that type of situation. So at this point, we had all gone home. So we discussed with the WhatsApp group that, 
hey guys um who is in mtata like who has gone home let's actually let's actually do lunch yeah well like meet up we haven't seen each other in a, in years or months let's let's meet up i get sharp me knowing that i'm far in gokstad uh at that time i didn't really see it was going to be a big deal because it looks is not too far from tataman i think it's maybe like two and a half hours if i could say yeah two and a half hours so i could have easily said no guys in said so that's far i won't be able to come but to guess i now turned this into i told my friends no let's meet up and i didn't even tell them that in sick did i tell them that in said i think i told them though so i tell my mom obviously my mom is like Hey, boy, really, dude? Cause you're here. I I reassure her. No, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to come back. And she was working that weekend, so she wasn't gonna be able to pick me up. She got a um, she got someone at her workplace to take me to M M Tata. And then when it's time to go home, I would either call my sister or um, I don't can't remember what the arrangement was or the the person who took me to mtata before they clock off i would link up with them and then they would take me back to a cock start so that was a fair agreement for me for me it was like okay it makes so much sense i get sharp the saturday comes i get ready and i leave quite early to go meet well not quite early but like enough time that by the time that we are meeting, so I, 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 I think I calculated my time well enough to know that when I get there, I won't have to sit around and be weird and wait. I would get there at the time where we're all about to meet. I shop. We, 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 we all meet up. I can't really remember where exactly we, we met each other, but we ended up going to a plaza. If you're from Tata, you are yes, a plaza. A plaza is kind of shady and dusty right now, but at the time it was still kind of cute. Yeah, well, and in Gabs, in Gabs around that time. I get fine. We decide we're going to go to a plaza. And then instead of going to McDonald's, because that used to be the place where people go McDonald's, but we felt like we were older now, so like going to McDonald's is weird. And then one of my other friends who was studying Ewu Suyena, so she knows Mtata, mentioned that her and her friends usually go to the casino. I think it's called Bingo or something. So we decided, okay, guys, let's go there. So I, not to see Ambe, see a Bingo, Nyani, we have a good time. I think there was like four of us that managed to link up that day. I think there was one person missing in the friendship group but we all met up again okay? we were having drinks we were catching up and guys so much that in that little bit of a girl girl was like that and i have to manage my time and have and, and be smart enough to make the um, the working hours of u driver hey time goes guess what i miss the time i missed the, the the person and yeah me being me i didn't want to so all this and ben city hi put in lean there i'm still having fun with my friends i thought like that was going to be a little bit insensitive and the hyper independent part of me because i I'm a, I'm a hyper independent person guys can like it i don't like asking for help i don't like bothering people so for me the logical thing for me to do was you know what anita you need to transport yourself home because Nguwe, who decided to stay here longer than you should have you're the one who was having a good time with your friends and forgot the fact that you need to go home because you're not you're not gonna sleep emptied i find i tell myself okay you know what it's fine i'm gonna go home late but not too late the sun is gonna still be up and i'm gonna hike yeah that? <laughs> i decide that you know what i'm gonna just hike a car because do you know why i decided to hike a car in 2014 i was doing my matric you know most when you're in high school go to december you want to have you know uh, you know a bit like work like temporary work and i worked as iclak yasem yeah furniture store at kutsolo kutsolo so i would hike from mtata to kutsolo and kutsolo is along the the route yem yeah, yeah, start if i'm not if i'm if i'm not mistaken so I knew that I knew the hiking spot. I knew the hiking spot. I was like, this is easy. Like, it's nothing. Because I've, I've hiked before when I used to work. Literally every morning, guys, not every morning, because sometimes we would have a, I would have a ride or my mom would drop me off. Yeah, well, but I have hiked 
I have hiked in Moto Asia, go Mount Frey, Cockstar, D, Tolo, about that whole side. I have hiked there. Anyway, I knew the hiking spot, and the hiking spot was um right, right in front of the police station. So I was like, this is gonna be safe. The sun is up. I'm probably not gonna be the only person hiking. So why not? Why not just hike? Hi, Sharp. My friends and I separate ways. I didn't even tell my friends that I'm going to go hike, guys. Because once again, I don't want to bother anyone. I don't want. I don't want anyone to worry about me. I was like, I'm not gonna tell anyone. I'm just gonna hike and go home. Like this is gonna be a peaceful day, okay? I decided to go to the hiking spot. If you know him, Tata, you will know him, Madera. That's why I'm saying it's by the police station because Kuko i Madera police station or Tata police station. I don't know. But in Madera, it's a very busy street, guys. Like there are cars going in and out in Madera. Go busy. Like it's quite it's a quite a congested area. Which once again for me felt like a safe bet. I find Dia in Madera. I I stand there. The sun is still up most. And go busy. I there are so many cars, but I wasn't getting we weren't getting cars to hike. And I wasn't the only one. Hey, people are standing there, cars are passing. Cars are passing, cars are passing, cars are passing. And I'm like, the sun is starting to say goodbye. The sun is starting to say papayini. Like the sun is not there anymore, okay? So I'm obviously getting a little bit anxious. And at this point, my mom is starting to call. But because I know my mom, my mom is exactly like me, even though we're completely different star signs. People like to sort of rate or tell their personalities according to their star sign but my mom is a leo i'm a taurus but we are equally anxious and paranoid people like my mom panics i panic we are those type of people in general so my mom's starting to call me at this point and i'm just like i am not going to answer <laughs> which was also a very bad move like not picking up your parents call guys knowing fully well that you are in danger or you are uncertain of something is not a good idea Hey, I decide to ignore my mom. I'm like, girl, relax. Relax, girl. I'm coming. Just pull away now. Just relax. I'm going to be there now. And in my mind, I was like, what's the point of picking up this call, stressing her out, making her maybe drive to come pick me up when I could just keep quiet and show up? Like, you know, just make life easy. I'm just going to show up and not say anything. My mom's calling, I ignore my mom's call. Hey, yeah, tatazela, tatazela. I'm not the only person there, Moss. Hey, I start seeing people give up. Like, people are starting to leave. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, what's happening? <laughs> people are starting to leave the hiking spot. Hmm. I'm starting to get anxious because Mtata is a dangerous city, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, you cannot be on your phone, Mtata, all willy-nilly. You cannot be holding your bag like some superstar. You're going to get marked. Period. Hey. People are leaving and I'm noticing, man, huh? why does it look like I'm the only person in Lana? I'm like, why does it look like I'm the only <laughs> person hiking here? Hi, oh, man, you know what? I'm a strong girl. I'm going to, I'm going to be fine. Like everything's going to be fine. Guys, cars are passing. It's getting dark, but not too, 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 too dark. But like the sun is not up anymore, but it's still a little bit, you know, fady. Hey, hi guys. I'm, I'm, I'm hiking, I'm hiking, I'm hiking. At this point, like, I'm even starting to feel a lump in my throat. I remember there would be women driving cars, like, mothers gain my opinion, driving cars, and I would get pissed, but I'm a girl. How can you pass me? Like, I'm a woman. You're supposed to empathize. You're supposed to be like, hey, well, this is a little girl. Well, I wasn't really a girl, guys. I was in varsity, but like, I was young. You could tell that I was young. Why aren't these people giving me a ride? They can see that I'm just a, a woman here and it's not safe for me. Like, we need to stick together. Hey, guys, people were like, nope. Which is fair, because these days, especially these days, you can never trust anyone. Male or female, woman or man, sometimes even children. Okay? You can't trust anyone these days. Guys, I'm panicking. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. And then guess what happens? A car stops. This car is a decent car because also I was like, I'm, I'm, I, I was telling myself, Bana, I'm gonna also look at the what what kind of cars stop. Like I don't want to get into some shanky car that obviously looks shady, that obviously looks suspect. 
hey a car stops the guys and it's like a big car like sort of like a family car like you fall true na man type of situation and there's a man in just the man just the man okay and he wasn't an old man you know you could say maybe he has a family and he looked decent like clean like you know we are pangelas or, or something like that so i was like this isn't too bad you know and you know me being calculative and careful i get into the car but i i get into i get in at the back like i get in at the back and opposite to him kind of like how we do with ubers where you are opposite the driver and you're at the back so that you can always have access to you know the door without them holding you or whatever so i get into that side and this guy's in front of me like this hey stop i get in the car i'm relieved at this point i'm relieved because i'm just like oh, finally i'm gonna get home i'm safe yeah well i think even my mom called and i reassured her about Hi, mama. Yes, I'm saying the the the. Get off hike. I had to, you know, hike a car because it's just a. We were a good driver. Yeah, and she was like, okay, okay, we'll be safe. Like, hurry up and and get home. So I get okay, fine. I'm in this car now. We're driving, but we haven't gone too far. Hey, we're driving. We're driving. Look, Woody. He seems nice. You know, I ask him how much it's gonna be, and he says okay. And we agree on the price. I think it was like eighty rand or something. And we agree that okay, it's fine. Hey, we are driving, we're driving. I can see him, you know, like being nice and, and you know, cool. So I'm I'm, gay, I'm feeling a little bit comfortable. But we're not talking. Like, he's quiet, I'm quiet. But it was like, okay, go sit. Yeah, boy. Hey, all of a sudden, the guy stops the car. I'm like, he turns back. Like, he literally stops the car and he turns back and looks at me with a very, like, okay. You know, type of face, like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but, and I'm looking quite confused at this point because I'm also really trying to get home. This guy looks at me and he's like, uh -uh. and I'm like, it's like, mm -mm, Sissy, you have to go. But I'm telling his toss, like, obviously, he's like, Sissy, uh -uh. at this point, me also knowing in the situation that I'm in. I'm like, Puti, please, and they're like, I'm begging him, please, Puti, please, I really need to get home. It's too late, and, and, and you know, I, I don't want to be hiking. I really need to get home. I will even pay you more. This put is like, that put is like, mm -mm. he's talking to himself at this point. Like, he's not even looking at me now. He's like, like, in English, you would say, I, 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 um, I stopped doing this. Like, I've, I've told myself to stop doing this. I've told myself to stop doing this. And I'm like, I'm confused. But in my mind, I'm still just like, I need to get home, please. Like, what's going on? Let's stop this. Mm -mm. Look, we turn to like, I just see, see. I'm going to take you back to the hiking spot. I'm like, but you know, I will pay double. I will pay double, please. I need to get home. I will pay double. Look, do what? That man was like, mm -mm, this is damn Oh, and he's like, he's like, Sissy, Uzondenza and Denza doing a funu yenza. He's like, you're gonna make me do things that I don't want to do. I didn't have a reaction at the time, guys. I'm not gonna lie. At the time, my main priority was getting home safe. So even if, even though he said that, it wasn't, cl wasn't clicking in my head. He's like, Sissy, Dan ten da yegu yenza lento. Uzondenza and Denza doing a funu yenza. And I'm just like, okay, get put. I gave in. Because he's like, you're going to make me do things I don't want to do. And I told myself, I st I've stopped doing these things. I've stopped doing these things. Hey, I say, okay. And he, he was relieved. He's like, okay, okay. He's going to drive me back. Ah, turned around the car, guys. Dropped me off back at the hiking spot. Guys, it is dark now. It is dark. I'm thinking to myself, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm back at this damn hiking spot. And fortunately, at that point, there were two other, um, there, were, there was a lady, another lady, and a guy. So we were all hiking there. Hi, we hike, and eventually, um, uh, like a mini bus, a mini bus stopped for us. And I looked at the drivers. It was two younger guys who seemed very rowdy. Not too rowdy, but like very hyped, and there was an old man driving. So the old man driving for me was like my, like my, my, the safest, the thing 
it was the thing that reassured me it was like okay this is an old old man you know in my head it was like there's nothing that could happen you know with this and Nyan Geshem, um we got into that minibus and they drove us to Kokstad. they were the, the two guys were they were talking a lot because they were excited about some festival that was going to happen at Gokstad. So that's why they were rowdy. But honestly, we got home safe. And my mom obviously shouted at me for, for you know, hiking and stuff like that. Oh, honestly, it's the most unsafe thing to ever do. Got in, I got home safe and that was it. So now in hindsight, in hindsight and going back to La Puti, going back to that man, and what he was saying and in the panic that he was in now i can't really have a, a concise conclusion but the fact that he kept saying this is something that he does not want to do or something he stopped doing i'm sure it has something to, it has something to do with violating me either the r word sexual assault or or literally even murder you know i was in such an unsafe position that i wasn't even aware thank god and I mean this with my whole heart. Thank God that whatever came over that man and made him regret his decision, whatever came there literally saved my life because I have no idea. I literally have no idea what could have happened. I have no idea what he meant. And Mtata, there used to, there would be these periods where we would hear stories about children being kidnapped or beheaded or sexually assaulted like weird things like that imagine if i had been part of that statistic like i uh, honestly thank god but that is the story of how i feel i almost got kidnapped or something even worse like murder or sexual assault and those cases go unsung like those cases it becomes a rumor and then it goes away you know i think only it's only the family that deals with the grief or you know or wants to know what happened or whatever but there would be situations like that i'm tata pretty often and i'm just glad that whatever came over that man and i'm gonna go ahead and say it was god saving me and protecting me i am forever grateful guys i always think about that that day sometimes like okay not always i don't always think about it but sometimes it hits me like man god really does protect you when you even aren't even aware like god protects you from things that you don't even know situations that you don't you don't even know you're in danger but god somehow protects you because that man didn't have to not do what he intended to do because me getting into his car was a clear indication that he had the intention he saw this girl and was like i'm gonna take her and i'm gonna do whatever with her but in in my opinion and my guides and whatever came over him made him not do it not go through with it but yeah guys that is my story my advice is do not hike guys do not hike um it's not a fair it's not a fair statement to put out there because sometimes oh, hike is was easy make or do you understand like sometimes you, maybe you don't afford a bus or you don't afford uh, a plane or you don't have a car so end up hike but i would say if we are going to hike if you can avoid hitchhiking do not hitchhike like do not hitchhike anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the story time thank you so much i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow for another edition of vlogtober bye